It's a dog-eat-dog world, Sammy, and I'm wearing milk bone underwear. Intended as a humorous take on life and laugh line on the show Cheers, Norm's response to Sam's question reflects a prevalent attitude toward work in general, but more specifically toward the competitive nature of the business world. And too often it seems as if the business world disintegrates into an overly aggressive competition that seeks success by devouring others like a dog eating a milk bone treat. Even though a little competition is good for businesses and their customers, tearing others down isn't good for either in the long run. If such conduct in the business world is bad for everyone, imagine the consequences when it spills over into our personal lives. In a word, devastating. When we see life as if we're all dogs fighting for the next morsel of food, we soon find out we're all wearing milk bone underwear. Yesterday, Saturdays in the Psalms on Morning Minutes in the Bible looked at Psalm 12 and David's lament over the people surrounding him. His lament could be described in Norm's statement. He cried out to God over the devastation being caused by the dog-eat-dog mentality of the merciless liars of his day. Today's Sunday struggles on Morning Minutes in the Bible wrestles with the impact of that mentality among God's people, the church. It seems, especially here in affluent America, that we've developed a mindset that anyone who isn't independently successful and self-sufficient shouldn't receive our help. Obviously, that attitude isn't true for everyone, perhaps not even most of us. But is it possible we've become so accustomed to the biblical limitations on collective beneficence and the massive size of American social services that we've applied it to individual beneficence as well? Yes, Paul clearly prohibited the collective care for certain widows in 1 Timothy 5 verses 3 through 16 and congregations ignore that limitation to their own destruction. However, the text also clearly declares the individual obligation to care for one's own family, including aged mothers. We ignore that obligation to our own destruction as well. Furthermore, as David stated in Psalm 12, God promised to act because of the devastation of the afflicted and needy. That mindset, God's punishment of the unmerciful, and the individual's obligation to have a benevolent heart, merciful attitude that provides beneficence, merciful action, permeates the Bible. If we shed our obligation to be merciful to the afflicted and needy, are we any better than the dogs fighting over those wearing milk bone underwear? God will be merciful if we're merciful. So the question is, are we? Thank you for watching Sunday Struggles on Morning Minutes in the Bible. Until next time, this is James McClenney hoping you have a great day.